Hi there, it's Carrie from GetAnorwexWebsite.com. I wanted to show you how to make a discount coupon on your website so that you can offer your shoppers either a dollar amount discount or a percentage off discount at checkout. To make a new coupon, you go to Gift Certificates, Coupons, and click on Coupon Admin. A page will come up that shows you any active coupons you have at the moment on your site. So right now on this website, I have a coupon that is worth 20% off to customers. The code is Happy New Year with an exclamation point and you can see there is a start date and an expiry date for the coupon. After the expiry date, the coupon automatically shuts off. Okay, uh, You can also see any other coupons that you've made by going to inactive coupons and those inactive coupons are ones that you had at some point and for some reason deleted or turned off. You can reactivate those by just clicking on edit and changing the uh, start and expiry date for the coupon. Okay, but let's make a new coupon here. It's easy to do. You click insert. You'll be asked for a coupon name and this is a name that's just for you. Nobody else but you will see the coupon. So I like to make it descriptive in some way. So maybe this is for my spring sale. So I'll type in spring sale there. The coupon amount, you can specify a dollar amount or you can specify a percentage amount. So in this case, I'd like to give my customers $5 off their order. You can, if you want, specify a minimum order amount and that means like say that you made the minimum order amount at $50. At checkout then, if your customer has spent 50 or more dollars, they would be able to apply the coupon. If they have not spent $50, the coupon cannot be applied. Okay. Um, I usually leave this blank, but it's it's kind of a good incentive if you are trying to get people to come and do an initial order on your site. You might offer that kind of a coupon. Come and spend $50, get $5 off. The other thing you can offer either in conjunction with a discount amount or on its own is free shipping. If you want to offer free shipping, just tick the box. But do know that free shipping means free shipping. So if you have a customer who, who orders $300 worth of products, that's a whole lot of shipping cost to you that you have to cover. So just watch, be careful with that. Okay. The coupon code is actually the, the code that your customer has to type in at checkout to get the discount. So um, let me see, I'll just, it's spring will be my coupon code. It's spring. Uh, you don't have to put in a coupon code there. If you generate this coupon and you have not put anything in that box, there will be an auto-generated coupon code that your customers would have to type in in order to check out. And, uh, and that's fine too. I just like to make my own. You can specify a number of uses per coupon or a number of uses per customer or both. Uses per coupon means how many times can this coupon be used by the general public before it's not usable anymore. So that might be 50 uses, you might decide once it's been used 50 times, I don't want anybody using it anymore, it's going to shut itself off. So you could specify that in your uses per coupon box. Okay. The other thing you can do is say how many times each customer can use it. So in this case, because there's a one in the box, this is telling your Zencart system that once a customer has used it one time, they can't apply it to another order. So if you want customers to be able to use your coupon over and over, you delete that and if it doesn't matter to you how many uses the coupon gets during the time that you're offering it, then you just leave those blank. Okay. You also can specify a start date for your coupon and an end date for your coupon. So say you're having a week long sale, um, you could specify an end date that's a week away and this can be extended. You can always go back and edit it, but just say that, that that's how you want to set it up. You would specify that. And after that point, if somebody tries to check out, so say it's December 18th, when someone tries to check out and use your coupon code, it's spring, uh, they'll get a message saying this coupon has been expired. Okay, uh, you can also restrict your coupons by geographical area. I don't know why you would do that, but you could do it if you wanted to do that. Okay, so when you're ready, you click preview. You check to make sure that your information is correct and then you click confirm and there's your coupon. Okay, so